video we're going to be looking at how to paint the new barn by Battle Kiwi. And to start with, the only thing I've done here is I've actually done a primer on the roof. Um, it's actually an army painter uh, bone. Mainly I'm just going to be using basic cheap acrylic paints. Um, uh, some pigments in a couple of different colours. And for the interior, I'm going to do a, a dirt base, so I'm going to use just use some good old sand from the beach. Whoops, making a bit of a mess already. It's always good. I'll be using uh, some pastels. Uh, now these are the um, the chalky kind of pastels, not the um, not the waxy ones. So I'm going to start with the uh, the interior on the bottom. And for this, I'm, all I'm doing, I'm just going to paint up. Whoops, a bit too much there, but I'm going to use some uh, just that acrylic brown. Gonna chuck some sand in there to give it some grip. And I'm gonna water it down. Apply this all over the bottom. Because this is gonna be my this is gonna be my dirt floor. So this next step is almost even easier than the first one. Um, we're just using the black acrylic paint. Going to be chucking that onto your palette or dish. Hmm. Oh, helps if you actually open it first. We want a reasonable amount. Um, and now this one, we're just basically going to water it down quite a lot because we just want to use this as a wash. Um, a good little tester is you can use the inside piece um, or even chuck it onto the reverse just to see how much coverage. Now you can see if I paint this on now, that's actually too much black. We need to water that down more. So all we're looking for is just a, a light wash so it actually ends up coming out a bit of a grey once it's once it kind of dries onto the MDF. Um, as it's quite wet, I'm actually going to kind of wash it on and then I'm going to use some kitchen paper to actually just kind of give it a bit of a wipe down just so it's not pooling. We don't want to leave a lot of water pooling on the MDF that soaks in. Once your building's dry, you might want to go back over and do a couple more little brushes. Um, just if you want to, like with a really, again, I'm just using this crappy old brush and I'm just using some up and downy strokes, whoops, just to add a few darker patches. Yeah, just doing it nice and patchy. Gives me, it gives the effect of kind of weather, rain running down and that kind of stuff. Right, so now we can carry on. Um, what we're going to be doing for this stage, everything's nice and dry, so all we're going to be doing now is using pigments um, and it doesn't really, I'm using these AK Interactive, I'm using a dark rust, uh, an ochre rust um, and then I'll also be using those um, pastels I showed you before. Um, now it doesn't really matter which colours you use too much, um, the main thing is here I'm just using something that's kind of a dark brown and using a bit of a lighter one um, and then at the end I'll be using a, a white one. And yeah, so let's get stuck in. Um, it's a good idea to do it with the roof attached um, or held, holding it on. That way you can kind of blend in the joins if you want. And so pretty simply, I'm just getting the pigment, just putting it on dry and I'm just rubbing it on. The big thing is I'm not trying to get full coverage here at all. What we're wanting to do is really emphasize that kind of um, weathered, beaten up, old look so everything's kind of not uniform we don't want a kind of uniform look put a bit of try a bit of lighter stuff as well again this just helps vary the tones you can also get your finger and kind of rub it in a bit as well do this straight away even just doing the simple stuff um, it just starts giving it that nice kind of beaten up look now you can see kind of got a bit of the um, there's a bit of the kind of the original wood showing through we've got the kind of the um, the black wash that we did uh, showing through we've got the the dark brown what's well, it's actually a rust colored pigment there and a bit of the yellow ochre as well just to give it that different tone now that I've done that next thing I can do is I'm just going in with like a, a slightly very very slightly damp um, kitchen paper from what I was using before and just kind of um, Doing a bit of dabbing and a bit of um, just twisting it around. Again, all I'm doing here is I'm just trying to again um, modulate, get a bit more kind of variance in my the tones and stuff that are on here. 
Once I kind of got that, uh, I got a nice kind of beaten up look. Um, the next final bit I'm going to be doing is actually using one of those white pastels that I showed you before. Um, and this is pretty great. This is where we kind of give it that really, um, really kind of weathered look. Um, and so that's what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of going down, streaking on the building, just creating these lines. Um, I'm mostly kind of sticking to in between the boards and around the joins um, and along the edges. Um, you can just kind of rub directly straight up and down. So I've done a bit there and now I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go in with my finger and just start rubbing it in. And you can see that starts blending it all in really nicely. It's also pretty fun. Gives you a good idea of what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go on now, carry on and do the same thing for all around the building. Um, and then we'll come back and finish off the last few bits. going to move on to the roof and basically this is pretty much the same technique um, just slightly varying the colors that we use um, so to start with we'll be using the same dark rust dark brown color um, this time when we apply this we're going to be focusing on underneath the ridges Okay, so we're nearing the final finishing up stuff. All I'm going to really do now is just add a few more little details um, to the inside and onto this. Keeping in mind how we were using the rubbing technique and stuff like that, um, you will want to actually seal it really before you get too carried away having too many games. Um, so something like the Testers Dolco or any, any kind of matte varnish, spray it on, that'll seal all the pigments and stop them moving about if you when you're playing. So yeah, so that's pretty much done. That's ready to chuck on the table, bring in some models and get your game on. Love to hear what you guys think of the video. Was it helpful? Uh, love to hear how you would approach actually painting, painting your terrain. Um, so yeah, drop a comment below or send us an email at hello at battlekiwi.com.